Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how you can create this design right here. Now this particular one says support day drinking, but I really want to show you more of the style and technique and you can use whatever words that you want that work well with this. So if you would like to learn how you can do this, go ahead and stick around. All right, so here I am on Canvas home page. We will be creating a t-shirt design. So I'm going to start with custom size. I'm going to select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is the size that I use for all t-shirts because that is the size recommended by um, Merch by Amazon for their t-shirts. And it just gives me the most flexibility. I am going to be designing for a darker color shirt because those do sell the best. Um, so I always like to optimize for black unless it's some special occasion. And then today I'm going to do a super easy design. It's almost entirely um text but it's it gives it a really cool look and so um and it's it's a popular niche so we're gonna go ahead and do one that says support day drinking but i'm gonna show you this style and you can use this style for just about anything and so it's really the style that i wanted to show you guys so let's start by pulling up text box and let's go ahead and just start with support and so we're just gonna type that in and i'll move it to the top and I'm going to pull up another text box. Now, drinking, I'm going to do next. And I'm going to do it D R I N. And then I'm going to go to the next line in King. And so it is going to be one of those designs where we get sort of that vertical sort of look there. Support day drinking. And I'm going to start here because I'm going to be layering stuff. So let me just start here. I'm going to use a simple font, um, but I want it to be a little bit more bold and a little bit more narrow than what I've got here. And so one of the simple, bold, narrow fonts that I like is one that's just called Anton. It is super simple. So, and I'm going to use it actually for everything here. So it's going to be such an easy design. So I'm going to use the same fonts for everything. Now here, I want to bring uh, the drinking kind of close together. I want to get rid of that gap in the middle. So I'm going to go to spacing and we're going to take the line spacing and we're going to bring it down. So just like that. And so now I'm going to make drinking nice and big. That is the bulk of the design right there. All right. Support. It's going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to put it here in the middle. Okay, and now what we're going to be doing is using some lines and just some shapes, you know, really easy stuff. So let's start by adding a rectangle. So I can hit R on my keyboard. That's going to pull up a rectangle. And so let's go ahead and change the color because I want things to pop here. So I'm going to start by making this first rectangle a nice kind of dark color here. And what I'm going to do is essentially bring this rectangle over drinking. I'm going to hit control and my left bracket. That will bring it to the back because what I want is for that support to sit right on top of that rectangle. And so I can do something like that. And so you can see the way that that looks pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to have little lines coming off of here. So lines are easy enough. If you hit L on your keyboard, that is going to pull up a line. I'm going to bring that line out of the way and I'm going to bring that line weight up to, you know, something that I can easily see. So right now it's sitting at about 48. And so the way that this is going to work is I'm going to put a line here, a line here and a line down across the bottom. So I'm going to start by getting the size of the line that I want and then I'm just going to go ahead and sort of duplicate it. This is the easiest way because I don't want the line to accidentally connect to something. It does like to do that. So once I get the line kind of the way I like it like that, then I can go ahead and just hit control and D. So I've got another line. I'm assuming I like the, the thickness of that line. I can hit 
Control D one more time. I'm going to make another line way down. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom this time. And this one is going to go across the bottom of the page. If your line is connecting to something for some reason, just move it out of the way of all of your graphics. So you can move everything around later once you get, you know, all of the elements that you want. So something like that looks pretty cool. And of course, we can always move everything around in the page too. And if I want this to be a little bit wider, I can still go ahead and maybe space these letters out. So I can go back up to spacing and where the letters are, maybe we space the letters out just a smidge. But I want to get all of the letters. I'll make sure I get everything here and then go to spacing. And maybe just bring it out just a smidge. So it doesn't have to be anything too much. It's at 52, just so it fills that page a little bit better. So if I do something like that there, that looks pretty cool. I've got my support up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and group my support. And we're going to go ahead and move it down a little bit. Something there is looking pretty good. Good, and now I'm going to move my lines right here and right here, and I'm going to make sure that those line up perfectly. So that looks pretty straight. Um, if you're ever in doubt and, and you can't quite tell if something's lining up properly, you can use the rulers and guides on your page. So I've got these on the top and the bottom. If you don't have them pulled up, if you hit Shift and R on the keyboard, that will pull up your rulers and guides. And then all you have to do is click and drag a line down and you can see whether or not everything is lining up nicely. And so that's how you would drag a line down and then you can just drag it right off the page. Now, don't worry about this being lower in the page than you'd like or not quite centered in the page if you'd like, um, because we can, here we go. We can move it all around once we are done. And so that is looking pretty cool. I actually think maybe I want this line to be a little thicker. Um, line style, line weight. Let's go with 70. Let's go with 70 all around. And so part of designing is sort of just playing with everything and making sure you've got it the way that you want it. You don't want to spend too much time designing, especially because when it comes to print on demand, the sad truth is most of your um, designs won't sell. You know, if you put up 10 designs, maybe two of them will sell and eight of them won't. So you never want to spend way too much time on any one design um, unless you're going to scale it out. In that case, you definitely want to spend a lot of time on the original because then you scale it out to a lot of designs. But if it's a one-off design, you don't want to spend too, too much time on it, but you do still need it to be good because nobody's going to um, want to buy something that's, you know, bad. So still make sure that it's a good design there. Um, and so right now I've got support drinking. Now I want to put support day drinking. So at this point, I want to put another rectangle on the page. So I'm going to hit R again. I got another rectangle. I want this one to say day. I'm going to angle it just a smidge, not too much. And I want it to go sort of in the middle here. So what it's going to do is going to be something like this in the middle of the design. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to pull up a text box here. This one's going to say day. Okay. Day is going to go here. So much like support, I want to make day nice and big. I'm going to make it that same font. So I still want it to be Anton. I'm going to go ahead and angle it so that it is in line with my rectangle. Rectangle sitting at seven, so I want my day angle to sit also at seven. I am going to go ahead and maybe space the letters out a little bit more, just so that it kind of fills that space a little better. So maybe something there. That, and so I'm liking the way that that looks. And then I wanted to just maybe add a little, like, 
flourish like a little dot on each side. So to do that, we're going to hit C on the keyboard. That's going to pull up a circle. Now I want this circle to go ahead and be white. So there's my white circle. I'm going to shrink my white circle way down until it's about the size that I want. And I'm going to position that kind of in the center there. And here's where it might help to use the the little arrow keys on your keyboard. So you got the up, down, left, right arrows on the keyboard. You can use those to move anything one pixel at a time, up, down, left, right. So just click on what you want and then use your arrows to make those little micro adjustments. Once I have it the way I want it, I'm going to hit Control D. So I duplicate that dot and I'm going to move that dot right over to the other side here. And again, I'm going to use some of my arrows on my keyboard to put it exactly where I want it. Something there-ish looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way that that's looking. I also want to do some different colors now as well. So you get the general gist of this design. It's really simple, quick, easy to do. So let's go ahead and pick some fun colors. So I did go ahead and do sort of a teal here, I actually want to switch these colors up. So I'm going to start by making this top line that dark teal color. So let's go ahead and pick that sort of dark teal color for our top line. Okay. And then I was going to go ahead and make the text teal as well. So I'm going to make the top part of the text, maybe a slightly lighter teal color. And then the bottom part of the text, and even lighter teal color. So I'm just using these three colors down here. And so we can see the way that that looks. And then the uh, these boxes, I don't want to be teal. I don't want that to blend in. Those I want to be something that's going to kind of pop a little bit more. And so in order to do that, I'm thinking maybe making those kind of an orangey, red, orange, and then yellow. So going that way. So I'm going to start at the top and see if I can grab hold of my box. If I can't quite get it, I can move this out of the way a little bit so that I can get my box. And let's go ahead and start with sort of a darker reddish orange. So I'm going to bring that into more of that red orange maybe make it a little bit darker there. So there's my support. And then this box here, I'm going to make maybe more of a lighter orange. So bring that orange down into the more yellowy section. So something like that. And then I'm thinking down here, this line, I'm going to make this line here a nice yellowy color here. So maybe bring that all the way down into the yellows. So something like that. And so I'm liking the way that that is looking. I can bring my drinking back up. And so that looks pretty darn cool. I think everything looks spaced pretty nicely. Make sure that that is centered. Make sure the spacing on all the lines and everything looks pretty good. I want to make sure this line is centered. Cool. And everything looks the way that you want it. What we can do is group it all together and then we can worry about resizing it or moving it around in the page. So once you got it all the way you like it, I'm going to go ahead and left click in the corner of the page outside of all of my elements. I'm going to hold that down, drag over everything. Once I've got everything, I can obviously move this up in the page. I can also go ahead and resize it so it does take up as much of the page as I like make sure it's centered at the top and boom there you go so i've got support day drinking and i've got some nice popping colors it looks good on this nice dark background the cool thing about this is if i was to go ahead and put it on a white background it's going to pop on that white background too and so this one's one that can you know actually work well whether you do white or black it's nice for the summer but it's really this technique that I wanted to show you. So now what you could do is if you had any other sayings that would work good here, you can just switch out those words. And so now you've got this sort of layout. It's a relatively popular style. I've seen them sometimes where they just put the box around the whole thing and you can do that as well by looking up 
um, in your elements, you can look up rectangle um, outline or frame and, you know, put a little frame around here. But that's just another style that I want you guys to be familiar with. I hope you guys are doing a good job at um, growing your skills and trying out new and different styles to work with. Um, I, I hope you guys are doing great with your, your sales and everything else. If you've got any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I do read all of your comments and try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Um, if you have video requests, you can drop those there as well. Um, go ahead and check out my channel. I do have over you know, 250 videos, so there's a lot of different things up there. So if you've got a question, I may have already covered it in another video. Um, and other than that, I just hope you guys are doing well, and I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.